I'm David Brooks. I work at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center and at the University of Toronto and a member of the immunotherapy program here. The failure of the immune response to overcome cancer is due to really a systemic um, dysfunction. However, one of the main things that prevents uh, the clearance of these cancers is the loss of function of a group of cells called T cells. These are the cells that directly can kill the cancer cells and in this in this state, they become unable to kill. So, and this is uh, called T cell exhaustion. And one of the things that our lab focuses on particularly is a group of proteins called interferons. These are proteins that are critical for inducing an immune response. However, long-term exposure to these proteins leads to this T cell exhausted state. And, and we identified a protein called IRF2 or interferon regulatory factor 2 that really its induction switches the killer responses towards a a response that is now shut down for the ability to kill and so we are now trying to start a kind of the next round of research where we are knocking IRF2 out of human T cells to try and now overcome the cancer I became interested in science in college when I took a virology class, a class learning about how viruses interact with cells and ultimately are able to commandeer the cells for their own uh, needs. That led me into trying to understand how the immune response fights other types of chronic diseases and cancer in particular uh, because of the similarities with chronic viral infections and cancer. I think what I like on a day-to-day -day basis is that it's always new, that the questions are always evolving. It's like a cornucopia of, of scientific interest and enjoyment. I think on the long term what I like is the potential to have the ability to really do things that will ultimately impact people and patient care and make at least uh, from a health side the world a better place. Mm -hmm.